I guess more fuses just appear as you use other ones. They spawn in. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Let's do Judge Sim instead, guys. I feel like this game is... It's FNAF, and it's fun, and I like it. Um, But I... I think we're going to move on. I don't really know if I... I don't really know if I love it in its condition right now. But maybe that's just me. Let me pull up Judge Sim. Judge Simulator. It's time to see where this story goes. Is our wife going to ask for a Mercedes Benz? All rise. All rise. All risers in chat. At least it's a demo. Yeah, it's a demo. Exactly. Let's go to bed. POV rising right now. Let's go. That's so true, Anita. Hello, sir. How are you today? Charges fraud a person in guy. All rise again. Person named Arturo Max, who thought he had his vehicle had a mechanical fault, took his vehicle to a repair shop called Regular Auto to detect and fix the problem. After two, count them, two days, the repair shop notified Arturo Max that the repairs were completed and stated that he could take delivery of the vehicle. We're only like, we're like 61 away from the sub goal, guys. That's so sick. Let's freaking go, dog. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, criminal record, yes. Okay, he's, he's bad. Arturo Max, who received the vehicle, wanted to sell the vehicle one week later. He received a report about the vehicle from the expert company before the sale. A person named Arturo Max, who saw that Three parts of the vehicle were changed in report. Filed a lawsuit against the repair shop called Regular Auto, which he held responsible. Fraud. Fraud. It's been about one month since I... I don't even understand what's happening. Does anyone understand what's going on? Something has been bothering me. Do you think your comments against Tyler 1's girlfriend slash wife were fair? Do you have a new perspective or think the same? Mav, what do you remember of my comments? Because I said one thing, literally maybe one sentence about that, um, and then I carried on. But please, like, what, what, did, what do you remember that I said? Because I don't even recall what I said. I know my stance against her. That she's tra- Absolutely she is. Oh, one million percent. <laughs> One hundred percent, she's transphobic. She said that herself. Yes, <laughs> and I definitely think it's more than fair if someone is actively being transphobic to say, "Hey, that's really fucking transphobic and problematic, and you need to get your shit together." Or that's a bad person. I think that's very fair. Oh, you're transphobic. All right, bye. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Taking out the trash. He says the shop is scamming him. Okay. Since the malfunction light came on, I took it to the repair shop called Regular Auto. They said there was a simple... Sorry, chat. I just can't. I do not. I want everyone to be so aware. There is no world in which transphobia will ever be okay in my spaces. <laughs> transphobia homophobia racism anything like that absolutely the fuck not blanket statement if you're any of those things you're a bad person that's it <laughs> sorry it's not an opinion that you have it's not your perspective you're just a bad person. I don't know. Sorry. I don't know. Like, maybe take that up with God or whoever you have to take that up with, but... You're just not a good person. Yeah. Anyways. Um, whole lot of people minding everybody else's business for no fucking reason. 
They said there was a simple mechanical fault in the vehicle. They repaired and delivered my vehicle within two days. Afterwards, I decided to sell the vehicle and apply for an expert. The expert report revealed that there were three changed parts. This is not possible because I bought my vehicle with, from the dealer with zero kilometers. I think it was replaced at the repair shop. When the vehicle came to us, the malfunction light was on. We said we could fix it and deliver it in a day or two, and we did. We were very surprised when we received notice that a lawsuit had been filed against us. We did not remove or replace any parts from the vehicle. We think that the victimization is due to the irresponsibility of the vehicle owner. Okay, so the company... He's saying the company definitely fucked him over. And the company's like, nah. Sorry, Chad. I get really passionate about assholes. It, I, you know what bothers me the most is people thinking that their weird fucking shit-ass viewpoints are, like, remotely acceptable in today's world. Maybe that was okay in 2006, Sharon, but right now it fucking isn't, so get it together. Anyways, um, I get passionate about assholes too, but different for a different reason. <laughs> nice. Expertise report from the time the vehicle was purchased. Everything was original. <gasps> Three parts are fake! The invoice from regular auto in the name of Arturo Max. Oh no, I didn't cook today. Cam, it's happening Thursday now. Just my neck is still fucked up and I don't want to aggravate it. Yeah. Had a rough day. Hope the stream goes well. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you, Woot. I'm sorry you had a rough day. I don't know what it is, but if you had a rough day today, I'm really fucking sorry. I Sometimes, man, sometimes... It feels like the day, just in general, is rough, and it's for everybody. So I am sorry if you go through that shit. I am sorry if you guys go through that shit, too. Yeah, I, or if you had a rough day today. Trust me, we're all gonna get better together. The invoice from Regular Auto in the name of Arturo Max, Bill Arturo Max, Regular Auto. Hmm. How? 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 Okay, so I think there was fraud chat. What do you guys think? This guy has a criminal record, though, but I don't think that makes him bad. What do we do? What if Arturo Max was the one that swapped them out? And now he's suing the company when... You know? I'm sorry your date was meh. What made it meh, if I can ask? How did the shop not notice the three fake parts, though? Fraud, right, chat? Fraud. Four years of jail, ten years in jail. So it's his fault, right? Say the problem was caused by the irresponsibility of the vehicle owner. Can you explain? Oh, this is, oh, this is the owner of the company. Okay. Can you explain more what that means? Your Honor, we are a large company that repairs on average 50 vehicles a day. We're not the addressee of such an accusation. The reason I say this is because the vehicle owner does not care enough about his vehicle. He may have experienced this grievance at any repair shop he took his vehicle to before. I recommend him to choose the repair shops he takes his vehicle to more carefully. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, he's going to jail for 10 years. <laughs> the, the verdict has been read and given, and Esteban is going to jail for 10 years. I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. And I got a raise. It's done. It's, it's finished. My question... Just really fast, before we continue on, you know, um, Mav the Wolf, what, what, that she was transphobic, why did you bring that up and like, why, what did you want to say with that? Give me that chaos, baby. Give me that chaos. Yes. The law has been served. Swirly, what up? The law has been served. Justice has been served, and my wife isn't asking me for a car, so it's a good day. You know what that means, chat? Do you know what that means? Casino time. Casino time. 
casino time. Because conflict resolution is how we move forward as people. I agree. However, I do believe that sometimes people are just bad people. And you can't teach them to be better. And that's just my belief. Maybe I'm wrong in that, and chat, like, feel free to tell me if I'm wrong in that, but I really do believe sometimes people are born less empathetic than others. That's how I see things. Because I've definitely seen, and we know that some people lack the ability to empathize. Um, I, I do think that sometimes people are just born less empathetic. God damn it! And if you're born less capable of empathizing, then you are likely, you likely make choices that, let's fucking go, that uh, suit you more than it suits others and makes it so that you can't, you can't see in other people's shoes as much, you know? You don't understand people as, as much and you don't care what you say or what the effect that what you say has on other people. Does that make sense? Who's beefing there has to be conflict to resolve it? Drawing a conclusion based on behavior is not conflict. That's true. Great point. Exactly. What I've gathered from this, Mav, is that I... No, you're fine. Um, It's okay. It's okay to bring it up. It's actually good because we got rid of a transphobe. So that was awesome. Um, what it tells me is like, if you are capable of being such a hateful human being, like she is, um, I know for myself that I would never trust her and never want to be friends with her. And that's something that I know, you know? And I also believe that people who are like that should not even have a platform. So I hate that she does. <laughs> Evil Monkey, thank you for the 29 months with Prime. Because it's irresponsible. What she said was irresponsible, cruel, and outrageously wrong. So, you know, like, that's all I take from it. It's just my own, my own experience, whatever I can get, garner. Give me that good- Oh, fuck yeah! Beat me, bitch. That's right. Back at the beginning. You know what? We'll leave. We'll leave happy. Thank you, Yeet Misters. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, did we have a good break? Evil Monkey, thank you again for 29 fucking months together. That's huge. And yes, we are. I'm definitely going to go watch that movie soon. When does that come out, uh, Bad RNG Girl? It's also a huge emotional tax to have to attempt to teach someone like that. That's true. It's no one's responsibility either. If you're just a shit person and you've made, made no efforts to like not be ignorant, then that's on you, you know? Because we have infinite resources at our fingertips at all times. So when you're still ignorant in today's day and age, if you're trying to be better, that's different. But if you're just blatantly stating hateful things, there's no redeeming. There's no redemption there. You're just bad. Why the fuck am I in court? Why the fuck am I in court? All rise. Insult beating home invasion. Jessica Grumbert. Female. What did you do? I don't fucking know. Wait, what did, do we know Jessica? Do we know her? Is she from a previous case? Bad mental health, guys. No criminal record. The incident took place in the evening at the restaurant belonging to Philip Monroe. The incident calmed down with the intervention of eyewitnesses, and then the police were called and asked for help. After Philip Monroe filed the complaint, Jessica Grumbert was caught and taken into just custody. First of all, I'd like to say that I'm in the right. I don't quite understand why she attacked me. I was doing my job at the restaurant. Suddenly, she entered my restaurant, screaming my name, and started attacking me. Even though I told her to calm down, she continued to punch me. The incident calmed down with the intervention of my customers. Afterwards, I called the police. First of all, I'd like to say that I'm in the right. The main reason I did this was because the other day I was spending time at home with my new boyfriend. We wanted to order food, and we ordered from Philip's Sushi. 
a restaurant with an average rating. The app said the order time was 20 to 30 minutes and my friend was in a hurry. They brought our order an hour and a half later and of course my friend had already left by then. Yeah, fuck you guys. The food was late. When I sent a message to meet up the next day, he told me that he was not available and I was very angry about the situation. If we had been able to have dinner together in the evening, this would not have happened. That's why I went to the restaurant and attacked the person I met. I just wanted him to stay. <laughs> but this food situation ruined everything. This is wild. James broke, eyewitness. I was eating my favorite sushi at the restaurant called Philip's Sushi, when one of my daily routine, which is one of my daily routines. Suddenly I saw a woman enter the place screaming. She was swearing and shouting Philip. She ran towards Philip, who is also a dear friend of mine, and started attacking him by swearing and punching him. I separated them, and then the woman left the place. Then we notified the police. All right, there. All right. There's one digital evidence for this case. This is her beating him up. Wait. Okay, that, that's it. That's all we got. That's all we got, chat. Let's get a little antique plate for the nice house, you know? Spend a little cash money to make it look nicer. I just took my wife on a nice vacation. Hopefully she appreciates me more and hopefully our marriage does better. Okay. Negative mental health test must be sent to a treatment without penalty. Okay, so she's gonna be sent for treatment. You didn't know the owner of the restaurant, but they said you entered the restaurant shouting his name. Is that true? No, it isn't your honor. I don't know the owner of the restaurant. I didn't swear or anything. I attacked the first uniformed person I saw just because of my anger at the moment, that is all. Hmm. You're going for treatment, Jessica. You're going for treatment right now. Your sanity is impaired. Get out of here. I'm waiting for the moment where we actually fail that because we haven't failed it yet, but it surely is coming. Guilty 1,000 years. Bling, 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 bling. That sounds kind of nice. It's kind of pleasing to the ears. Oh, I'm gonna have a green apple focus fuel. Chat, if you would like to get focus, you should use my code Emerone to get yourself a little focus fuel in your mouth. Do it today. Mm. Just two of them. Mm. <laughs> Suck off, Loof. Delicious. Get a lot. Get a lot is what he means. Nice plate, guys. Look at this plate. Did we get the rug? We did! It's beautiful in here. It's beautiful. How could you guys be unhappy? That's 100 milligrams of caffeine. It is. It is 100 milligrams of caffeine. What the fuck?! Conversation lawsuit filed by a person named Matt against a person named Julia. Okay. A person named Julia who wanted to break up with her boyfriend filed a lawsuit saying that her boyfriend did not want to break up with her and threatened to blackmail her. I was stated that their relationship lasted approximately one year. Matt, the boyfriend, filed a lawsuit against Julia for damages worth $50,000. When we started a relationship with Matt, everything was great. I thought he was the right person for me. We made a lot of memories in a short time, and since we got along to well, we decided to move in together. Our home life was good at first, but after a month, we started fighting constantly. I realized I didn't know him until he lived in the same house. He was very lazy. He would lie down all day without moving a muscle, even when there was dirt everywhere. Well, that's, sh that, that's pretty bad. That's pretty fucking bad. That's not good. When I told him that we should do things like cleaning and cooking together in our free time, he said he was too tired and just laid down. However, we were also starting to have money problems. After a while, the most important issue emerged. He kept telling me, he kept telling me that we'd done everything and that he no longer enjoyed sex and that we should look for different pleasures. I would do anything for him, but it was very difficult to do the things he wanted from me without asking for them myself. Wait, what? 
He started to ask questions such as, why don't you do something that I'd like to do? Don't you love me? We decided to break up after a while, but he did not delete the sexual pictures and videos of me. He told me that he misses me about a week after our separation. He acted like we never broke up, and when I reminded him of that, he threatened me to spread the photos and videos he had to all of my friends and the internet. This is fucked up. I think we have to give Matt Geller the death penalty. I love Julia very much and I think everything is going very well. The only problem in our relationship is that she takes some things too seriously. After I eat in bed, she argues with me when she sees that I don't clean the house when it gets dusty. But such things are not a problem for me and do not require cleaning. If it bothers her, she should clean it herself. Shit, partner! We argue when I say these things, but we continue as if nothing happened. I think there's no problem. Thank you, Avalanche, for the follow. Thank you, Ronan, for the follow. Thank you, Heat Masters. Thank you, Tatiana. Nice to meet all of you. I think there's no problem. We started living together in the middle of our relationship. Naturally, we tried everything we could in bed. When I go to her with different ideas, she always acts offended and rejects them. I just want to discover new pleasures together. Afterwards, she wanted to break up with me. Since I didn't want to lose her, I told her I love her and miss her very much. What the fuck is happening? Julia, how are you? Why do you care we broke up already? Nope, we didn't break up. I'll block you, don't write to me again. Block me and I'll share all I have about you. What the fuck? I'll humiliate you, let's try it if you want. Are you threatening me? No, just a little reminder. I don't think he knows what a threat is. Hello! Why do you still keep the photos and videos of your girlfriend even though she asked you to delete them? Because I miss her so much. I miss us. I want to have things that I remember if I delete them, we never make up again. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Why are you secretly sharing her private photos with your friend? It's a tough question, Your Honor. I have some strange feelings, and it gives me pleasure sometimes. <laughs> I have some strange feelings, and it gives me pleasure sometimes. What the fuck? <laughs> I trust my friend very much and I was wondering what he thought about my girlfriend. I thought that if there were good comments and my girlfriend was ready to try new things, it could lead to other things. But I realized how ridiculous it was to do without her notice. Put him in an unmarked grave. <laughs> hmm. Um, okay. I'm putting everybody in jail. Yeah, you're fucked up. Pay damages now. Pay money right now. You ever- I, it, Listen, if there was a worse option, if there was death penalty for this, I would have given it. I would have given him the death penalty. Nobody is gonna run around in my fucking town while I'm the judge holding on to someone's nudes and gonna- and Blackmailing them with them. What the fuck? What the fuck? Chad, don't take nudes. Don't take nudes unless it's on like a Polaroid. All rise! It's a new day in court. All rise! This guy is scaring me. Just right off the rip. I have a 5% chance of being fucking assassinated? What? All of my Polaroids are taken via- All of my nudes are taken via Polaroid and sent via carrier pigeon, as they should be. As they should be. Hi, Treason. Jam oh, he gets to die. Jamal Roderick, who was captured by Prime Minister Matt Drake's guards during their patrol around the property at night, surrendered without difficulty. According to the information provided by the Prime Minister's guards, the police officer was wearing his official uni uniform and had a gun with the safety on in his hand when he was caught. The guards who searched the person found a red rose and a steel choke rope on him! This is the fucking murderer, guys. This is the murderer, dude. Bondage. <laughs> We've had a murderer who kills people with the, the choke rope. And then, and then Lisa Rose. We've had this before. This is absolutely that guy. All right. 
After everything I've done for the future of our country, why would a sane person try to assassinate me? I can't understand it. I request and request from our justice system that necessary action be taken quickly. They cannot prevent me from being prime minister with such disgraceful and cowardly actions. I can't understand why I was arrested and brought here. I received a phone call from headquarters. I was ordered to put on my uniform and go to the prime minister's house for additional security duty. I did whatever task was given to me. I could never have an intent have any intention of assassinating the prime minister. <coughs> Sorry, chat, one sec. I have endless respect for him and his party. Yeah, don't fucking lie to me. All right, Roderick. Don't fucking lie to us, Roderick. You're really pissing me off. What are you guys laughing about? Oh, is it the all risers in chat? Are they making you laugh? Listen, fella. If I find nudes on your phone, you're gonna get it. All right? Oh, thank God. Okay. I'm being silly. Um, this one goes to the second last one. This one goes to the top one. Boop. 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 Yay. Fucking weirdo. Fucking weirdo! Hmm. High treason, rape, and child abuse should be executed. Time to kill him! Time to murder him! Wait, we should hear him out first. The exact same rose found on corpses in previous assassinations was found on you. How will you explain this? Your Honor, since you asked me that, I'll tell you. It was my girlfriend's birthday. I didn't have time to buy her a present. That's so fucked of you. While I was on my w way to duty, I saw a beautiful rose on the side of the road, and I put the rose in the inner pocket of my uniform to give it to my girlfriend. Sure you did, bucko. Sure you did. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that this rose was the same species as the rose found in previous murders. It was a big coincidence for me, too. And was the steel wire on it a coincidence? Oh, ask him! Yes! I always take into consideration all possible negative situations as a professional habit. This is just an extra precaution. In your statement, you said you wanted orders from the center. However, it was accepted there was no such order from the center. You liar. Your Honor, the order I received was not a written order. I don't know. There may have been some confusion. Time to die. <laughs> Wait, we should read our emails first. Oh. Matt Geller, Judge Emerum, to pay 50000 compensation to Julia Armstrong decision. Does loving someone cost $50,000? Honestly, it costs way more than that. It costs way more than that. Wait, like, way more than that. I did whatever he wanted. Wait, what? Didn't your conscience ever hurt when you made this decision? I did whatever he wanted? Why are you misgendering her? What I got in return was nothing and a $50,000 fine on top of that. I cannot find words to say. I'm not even... I, I can't... I've got nothing to say because this person was misgendering her. Um, so hey, bucko, pal, buddy, Jamal. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just kill you. Uh, if that's cool. Hang him! A man's strange movements caught your eye. Huh? <laughs> they raised it by so much! This is great news! Sporty Lioness, thank you for the follow. As a result of the decisions you made in the cases, we're raising your salary. I'm fucking rich. Let's go. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Withdraw the cash. Did they shoot the guy? I think they killed- Yeah, we executed the guy real quick. We executed him so fucking fast, guys. You have no idea. It was awesome. We're efficient in this court, all right? When you're a bat... Taking money?! Did I... 
Am I stupid? Oh, I took it out already? <laughs> All right. That was me that took it. Okay. All right. That's, that's chill, guys. As long as it was me that robbed myself, I'm fine with that. <laughs> as long as it was me that robbed myself, I'm cool with that. Niner, let's go! Oh my god, stay. Yes! I'm not gambling, guys, please. 18, baby! Let's fucking go, dude! That's about, uh, that's about the day. That's about the day. That's about the day. I'm not gambling, guys. This is, um, making... This is, like, doing stocks. I'm just, I'm educated... I'm making an educated... Investment. It's like doing stocks. Police officer loses their life. The police officer was shot and died during the trial in which he was tried as a defendant. The assassin was caught. McCrae, thank you for the follow. It's not even gambling. It's literally just like, I'm just, I'm playing the stock. What the fuck is... Hello? Um, which courtroom am I in? Sorry, which courtroom are we in? After the recent events, we've decided to promote you to a more secure palace of justice. You'll never be subjected to such an act again. We convey our wishes to get well soon. Yeah, I don't know why I'm working right now. I need a leave of like, a paid leave for like three months to just gamble. Assassin, this is the assassin! Criminal record, yes. Recently, a person named Jamal Rock... Rock Rick was shot four times and killed by Alex Martin during his trial. After shooting when he was about to commit suicide, he was neutralized by security forces. During this process, he refused to testify. All right. Okay. I mean, what do you want me to do about that? Oh, I see. I see. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Yep. No. Yep. There we go. The courtroom is huge. The last one didn't fit. My third wag points his. Anyways. Um, okay, so evidence. Unlicensed semi-automatic pistol used in the assassination. 2-1-2-1-2-1-3-6-2. <laughs> all rise! Did we- did we all rise yet? We didn't all rise. Oh yeah, everyone was all rising and it didn't- we didn't fit in that room. That's what happened. Yeah, true. It's kind of a conflict of interest. Honestly, it'd be kind of nice if we could just whip out a gun and just take him out. <laughs> Is that weird? Like, wouldn't that be kind of nice? Do you insist on continuing not to talk? Why did you commit this murder? Who do you work for? I have nothing to say. I'm an anarchist. Okay. You're talking a lot right now. Listen, pal. Listen, bucko. Hundred and- Okay, 102 years in jail, right? Yeah. Hundred and fucking two years in jail. Jesus Christ. Do we have any emails? No. Sorry, I just felt like we needed to do that. Yeah. All right, 102 years in jail, chat. There she, there he goes. There he goes. Alex Martin, sorry, brother, but you are a bad, bad, bad boy. And you need to go to jail for 102 years, and then you can come out. All right? Get out of here. Get a bad boy. Does he need to be executed? I don't think so. Wait, did he need to be executed? Did he need to be executed? Did I fuck that up? My god. 
That was a bad, bad. That was so bad. Is Iko in chat? Is Iko in chat? All right. Well, you know. Well, who's Iko? Oh, just this really cool person that we love. Um, is this Hitler? What the fuck is Hitler doing in my courtroom? You're supposed to be dead. Um, can... I would love that. If we did, like, a public... Chat, would you guys like having a community Spotify playlist? Would you like that? A widow community Spotify playlist? Would you enjoy that? All rise, by the way! All rise! All rise just in chat, please. Thank you. We are now in the court of Emerone. This is the Empire. Today we'll be presiding over the case of one... What looks like Hitler, probably. I'm not really sure who the fuck this is. We hate to warn you, but you must release Albert DeSanta. Otherwise, your wife and children will suffer. If Albert DeSanta is sentenced, be prepared to watch your family disappear. I don't believe them. I don't believe them. I'm gonna get my burrito. I'll be back. Thank you, Iko. Let's fucking go. Chad, do we care about our family? Okay. That'd be great, Iko. I love that. Like, I don't think we really care about our family. Mm. Murder. Recently, a new and three gunshots were heard in the restaurant called Burger Queens. A person named Martin Madrix lost his life in the incident. It's been stated that the cameras are not active because the restaurant just opened. Mm. As a result of the consistent statements of customer Amanda Franks, Thank you, Jerry, for the gifted sub. Thank you, Sporty Lions and McCrays for the follow. Jerry, you're amazing and a saint, and I love you. Who were there at the time of the incident and the photo fit they drew, the information of the person named Albert DeSanta was obtained not long after the person named Albert DeSanta was caught by the police and taken into custody. Since so I started my shift at noon, since the restaurant is secluded, I can remember the customers' faces. While I was waiting at the counter, I noticed that the customers at table 14 were arguing. The customer in the leather jacket suddenly pulled out a gun and pointed it at the person in front of him. As soon as I saw the gun, I hid under the safe. Then I heard three gunshots. I didn't show up for a while because I was afraid. When I came out, I saw the man lying on the ground and then I notified the police. I went to Burger Queens around noon to order, but I went to the restroom before making it. I stayed for five minutes. Taking a shit! After leaving, we made eye contact with the customers at table number 14. While I was heading to the cash register to order, I heard the scream of the cashier. With a sudden reflex, I threw myself under a table when I heard three gunshots. After a while, I came out from under the table and one of the men was on the floor. The other had left the place. I was sleeping at home at the time of the incident. You accused me of shooting a man, but I was at home until the evening hours that day. I only went out for drinks with my friends in the evening. This is a murder they're trying to pin on me. I am not guilty. What do the facts say? What do they say? Uh, 
I'm a Burger King with my Burger Queen. Court is in a session? I mean, I'm in court right now. But not the real court. Thank you so much, Live, for the gift of the same. That's pretty much him. Hmm. Hmm. Listen, fella. You have anything to add? I said everything I wanted to say in my statement. I'm not guilty. I don't need to say anything else. Okay. But if we look at the evidence, his eye, w oh, it's also creased in this one. Well, it's a little inarguable that this is the guy. Is this not the guy? Murder. I think it's murder, guys. 26 years in jail, right? Wasn't his name on the note? Wait, what? The threatening note didn't help? Wait, where's the... Wait, where's the threat? Oh, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do we let him go for our family? Or do we arrest him? We don't need family. Execute? I think it's 26 years in jail, yeah. Yeah. Listen, bucko. I'm sorry, but you're going to jail. Jail time! I'm a good, good girl, and I'm putting you in jail. My family's gonna die. Hello, family. You may die tomorrow, but it's not really my problem. That was my, uh, 10%! That's much higher. Hmm. Joseph Gray, 53 years old, male, no criminal record, poor mental health, and in, uh, good national status. He's from here. Look at that fancy art, though. It's so nice, right? Kidnapping. Recently, Aisha Ellery, the wife of Stuart Ellery, notified the police after not hearing from her husband for a long time. Hmm. Okay. As a result of the extensive searches carried out by the police, it was determined that Stuart Ellery left his workplace and headed towards his home. Security cameras on the route of his home were examined. It was determined that Stuart Ellery was put in a black minibus without his consent. As a result of the intense work of the police, the person named Joseph Gray, the owner of the minibus, in which Stuart Ellery was kidnapped, was caught and taken into custody. All rise! I love seeing that chat. I love seeing that. As a result of the searches carried out in the house of Joseph Gray, Stuart Ellery was found unconscious with his hands and feet and mouth tied in a- His mouth was tied! In a secret compartment of the house. In addition, many people were found dead or unconscious in other secret- What the fuck?! What the fuck is half? What do you mean? Uh, chat. First of all, 
I would like to say, hold on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm definitely not a murderer. I only treat sick people who are on their deathbed. While doing this, I do not ignore their consent. I provide them with the opportunity to continue living. This is an opportunity for them. I am not crazy. I don't force anyone to do anything. You are so fucking crazy. Oh my god. This one's hard. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Fuck. Nice. Easy. Are the floppy emotes 7 TV? Yeah, they are. Yep. Do you have that or no? If you don't have 7 TV, it's an easy browser extension you can grab. If you're on mobile, unfortunately, I don't think you can see it. Uh, but if you're on desktop, you can definitely see it. Thank you, Jer. All right. Let's see. Fugitive Joseph Gray has escaped from the hospital. If you can see him, notify the authorities. Oh, my God. All right. Listen, Joseph. You need to go back to the hospital, brother. You need to go back to the hospital right now. You have everything except for 7TV. It's so good, dude. Perfect. Let's go. You guys are all still alive? This is amazing. This is amazing. They're all still if they don't if they steal the cat, I'll be upset. But as of right now, cowards still haven't gotten our family. <laughs> they lied about that, I think. They lied about that. What is going on here? Dam damage lawsuit filed by Ashley Cohen against Ostravic Construction Company. Ostravic Architectures. Ashley Cohen. Ashley Cohen, the daughter of Fred Cohen, who died by falling from the 15th floor of the ongoing construction within the Ostravic Construction Company about a week ago, filed a lawsuit for compensation worth $120,000, stating that the construction owners did not take sufficient safety measures. How the fuck did he fall? Relevant units carried out the investigations and added the results to the examination report. On behalf of Ostravic Construction Company, David Hamilton is featured. So her dad just died? I was taking my child to school the day the accident happened. The call came and they said that my father had an accident at work and was taken to hospital. When I reached the hospital, they gave me the news of my father's death. I couldn't see my father on the first day because he was being examined, but the next day I saw his terrible state in the morgue. Those who did this shall never see the light of day. I mean, yeah, if you want that. If you want that. For sure. I request that necessary action be taken against this construction company and its officials. Who did not take any safety precautions against the possibility of him falling from the area he was working in. Even though he was too old and aimed to make a profit even from security costs. There are exactly 60 workers working in our construction. None of these people failed to prioritize their own safety. This is exactly what should happen. What? This is exactly what should happen? I think they mean prioritizing their own safety, but saying that right after, like, basically saying, like, acknowledging someone died because it was an unsafe situation is very weird. However, the employee named Fred Cohen constantly endangered the safety of himself and his friends by being too hasty in everything he did. Then why would you keep him up there? Only iron fences were built around the building construction. There were no signs to deter pedestrians passing near the construction site. Employees have sufficient protective equipment. As a matter of fact, it has been observed that employees who are required to use protective equipment, even if not during working hours, do not use this equipment. There is no- what? 
They don't use the safety equipment. There's no safety rope on the scaffolding built around the building to prevent the working teams from falling. All the damage occurred in the upper part because the person hit the ground headfirst while falling. The brain was critically damaged and the person died. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. This is really fucked up. Listen, guys, this is kind of fucked up. And you have a duty to protect your employees. And that means you have to make sure that they're abiding by the safety laws and they understand them. All right. This game's called Judge Sim. Yoshi. Yeah, corporations are always guilty. 120,000 to Ashley Cohen. The company continues its activities. And the company's operations are suspended. I think they should be suspended. What do you guys think? I think they should be suspended because I think they need to work on their safety their safety stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 Nice guys. Hello, little family. Daddy's got money and a gambling habit. Daddy's got big money and a big gambling habit. Daddy is so good at gambling. Let's fucking go, dude. Yes. That's enough. That's enough. Damned criminals making false promises. I know. <laughs> Guys, we come home again, and these fucks are still alive? You bitches were supposed to be kidnapped a long time ago. This is getting a little ridiculous. This is getting a little ridiculous. All rise, thank you. All rise. Let me see that shit. Up in the air, baby. Valentine Plaus, 37 male. Criminal record, yes. Mental health test, positive. National status, yes. Beating. Recently, Vinnie Plaus made a report to the police and stated that her husband was violent towards her. Why are they standing next to each other? Give them two separate desks, what the fuck? The police went to the house where Vinny Plaus and Valentin Plaus lived, checked the situation, and were and seriously warned the person named Valentin Plaus. The next day, Vinny Plaus notified the police again and reported the same situation. The police went to the house. Oh, Vinny Plaus notified the police again, where the couple lived to detain the person named Valentin Plaus. Vinny Plaus stated that she had a complaint against her husband. We're married for five years. I've never experienced any violence from my husband until now. But during this year, he increasingly started to use physical violence against me. I had to execute. We're executing him. I had to report him to the police. I thought it would calm down a bit after that, but it wasn't what I expected. And he started to take a more aggressive approach towards me. The last incident I experienced was the last straw. I complained and filed a complaint against him again. I request that the necessary action be taken. Okay, listen. Controversial take. But we put dogs down for being violent and out of control. Right? Right? Is that crazy to say? Is that crazy to say? Is that a wild take? Uh, maybe? Maybe. During our relationship with my wife, I did not use any violence against her. I love my wife very much and I've always had a na uh, naive approach towards her. I think that everything we see in the world is the work of women and they are special. My wife and I have had occasional arguments and fights, but unfortunately these are indispensable parts of marriage. The only reason I argue with her is because I value her too much. Too much! 
Do you guys get what I'm saying, though? When we're acting like little animals, I've never... I don't think we've done this one right. When we act like animals... If if someone is incapable of acting like a human being with their like with their strength and care for others around them, I just feel like that's enough. That's enough. In his statement, your husband said that he did not use violence against you. It was just an argument. What do you think about this topic? My husband is a great wordsmith, and he definitely lies. I don't agree with him. Can you explain to us what you mentioned in your statement is the final straw? I cook the meals at home, and before I cook, I ask my husband what dish he wants. I ask him what food he wanted, and he, he asked me to make chicken salad. As we were eating, he told me that the food had no salt. When I told him I forgot to put salt, he threw the remote control in my face and hit me right in the nose. I can't explain how it hurts. I went to the hospital alone and found that a, nose in my bo a bone in my nose was broken. A nose in my bone! Why did you throw the remote control at your wife's face? Actually, I didn't want to throw the remote control at my wife's face. At that time, I was watching the football match with my favorite team, and the team was behind in terms of score. I got angry at one point and decided to throw the remote control at the TV. My wife was passing in front of the television and it hit her in the face. Yeah, sure, pal! Of course! It's so convenient! Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Beating! Four years in jail. Okay. Yep, looks like we're going to jail, buddy. Yeah! We're going to jail! Are you excited? It's jail time! It's time for jail! She was in the way, of course. Guys, it's her fault. It's her fault she got hit with her remote, guys. Please. How many years in jail was it, guys? It is aggravated. Fuck. Uh, four years. Wait. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Um, you're gonna have to go to jail. For four years. Okay. Get out of here, you fucking asshole. Yeah, I would kill him if I could. I mean, I can. We should. If you guys want me to kill him next time, I'll do it. Bill passed. Penalty reduction has been arrived for criminals over 50 years of age. Huh? What? Half of the punishment for their crimes. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Cybercrime. All right. Mm. Mm. Hold chat. My mouse stopped working, chat. Hold. All right, beautiful. Let her off, criminal record, no. Recently an abnormal money flow was detected in the inter-account transfer reports of the bank named Art Bank. I need more water. Did you send me fucking math? Oh, you did before, yeah. The first person to notice the incident was a person named Johan Floyd, who's been working at the bank for 10 years. They were stated that there was a total of five money transfers in the incident, and the money was transferred to the same account. As the amount of money increased at the same rate with each transfer, Johan Floyd thought there was something wrong and checked the accounts. The account owner, Elliot Isaac, was reported to the authorities. 
and detained at his home address. Upon Elliot Isaac's statement, his sister, Jean Isaac, Isaac, sorry, was detained at her residence address to take his statement. I'm not aware of the incident in question. I don't use that account anyway. Since I didn't use it, I gave it to my sister when she needed it. We've never talked to her about this kind of issue. She is Jean Isaac. It would be better if you consult her about this matter. I last saw her about a month ago when I went to visit my family. Okay, but he's the criminal. I have no knowledge about the subject you're talking about. A few days ago, some money was deposited into my account. But I don't know who sent the money. I got the account from my brother just to save money and keep it safe. It seems to me that the bank misunderstood something. Yeah, blame the bank. Sure. Boop. 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 Okay. Chad, are they guilty or not guilty? What do you think? Before seeing the evidence. Bit number of the IP address that made a cyber attack on the bank. Correspondence of bit to IP numbers. What the fuck is going on? Oh, so he did it. So he did it. Hi, Edgar! Hello, it's good to see you, Edgar. Welcome in. I did. I did sleep. It was great. Thank you, Nidus, for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Uh, so it looks like it was Elliot, and she was probably not very knowledgeable on it. Maybe she didn't know? What do you guys think? What do you think, mate? Because he gave the account to her, so, like, he's being weird. Some money arrived in your bank account. Haven't you wondered how and who? Who and how this money came from? I was doing a different job at the time and only saw the incoming notification. I didn't even know the amount of money. Money was transferred to your bank account five times and you're notified each time. Didn't you look at any of these notifications? Actually, I looked, but I didn't understand anything. That's why I didn't tell anybody. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of fucking weird. I'm not going to lie. What do you guys think? Do they both go to jail? What do we think? Cybercrime. Four years in jail for her and eight years in jail for him, right? Yup. That's what I think. That's what I think. Sorry, ma'am. Looks like you're getting a sentence. Sorry, sir. Looks like you're getting a sentence. Wait, it's eight for him, right? Eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, she wasn't on the account. The IP was like, it was his, but not hers. Do we think we... Because, like, she's saying that, like... Hold on. She's saying that... I looked, but I didn't understand anything. That's why I didn't tell anybody. I feel like if you didn't understand something that was happening in your bank account, you fucking say stuff. Am I wrong? Chat, if somebody was just randomly sending you large sums of money, would you not ask questions? Mm. Sorry, I'm moving the mouse for the cat. Hmm. Very sus. Yeah, fuck it. Go to jail! Goodbye! Goodbye! Money, baby, that's right. I've been really lucky with this. I think she's complicit too. Also, who gives somebody else a bank account? That's so fucking weird. 
Just go get your own bank account. It's not hard. You can sign up online. What are you doing? What are you- what are you do- what are you playing at? What are you play- Six thousand dollars! Alright. We're gonna get a shit hand to start, right? We're gonna get a shit hand to start. We're gonna play with a hundred dollars. This is gonna be a shit hand. That's what I thought. Watch, he's gonna have twenty. Alright! Still won that. One K, baby! $1,000 on the line. We don't lose it again. We don't lose it again. That's right. One more time. One more time, because I am, I am, I'm pretty good at this. All right. One more time. Come on, baby! Yes. We're back at where we started. So I have to go one more time. <laughs> Give me a little tiny card, please. It's a little card. It's a tiny card. That's why your mom loves me so much. Okay? That's why. Right there. Because I bring home the bacon. I bring home the fucking bacon. I do. I bring it home to her, and she goes, I like it crispy, and I say, how crispy? And then I give it to her the way that she likes it. Thomas Daniel and George Reese, don't forget these names. If these people are punished for the crimes they're tried for, you'll have to walk around looking at that shitty ass for the rest of your life. Huh? Think of these guys as the center of a city. If the city center disappears, the city also disappears. If the city is destroyed, you'll be destroyed too, judge. Brother, what the fuck are you saying to me? What the fuck are you saying? Human trafficking? Organizing? Prostitution active? Act no, you're done. Sorry, you're done. You're done. You're done. Okay? In recent weeks, a person named Lisa Margaret went to the police forces and claimed that individuals named George Reese and Thomas Daniel were forcing her into prostitution. Thereon, police followed the individuals named George Reese and Thomas Daniel who were thought to organize the prostitution ring. The police, in agreement with Lisa Margaret, placed voice recorders on the person. It has been determined that the gang secretly smuggles women from foreign countries by land and sea intermittently during simultaneous operations. Persons named George Reese and Thomas Daniel were caught and detained. I wanted to go abroad because there are not enough job opportunities in my country. While doing research, I met people named Thomas Daniel and George Reese on the internet. They introduced themselves to me as businessmen and said they would help me with passports and visas to enter the Banana Republic. They said that they would also help find job, finding a job after entering the country. I thought I should take advantage. They demanded $10,000 from me for the transactions and I paid. Afterwards, we came to Banana Republic on a boat with many people whose nationalities I did not know. Immediately afterwards, they called me to a hotel room. What the fuck? When I went, they told me about a few businessmen. They, the job was about serving alcohol to these men and spending time with them. Shortly after accepting the job, I realized this was actually prostitution for money. I said I didn't want to do the job. They were also threatening me, saying they would file a complaint against me because I entered the country illegally. I don't know why you arrested and questioned me. I'm not guilty of anything. What you, what you say is just ridiculous gossip. We run an institution that has a certain reputation abroad and provides language training. We provide job opportunities in Banana Republic for affordable wages to people who achieve 95% success in our institution's training. What institution? George? I have nothing to do with organizing the prostitution ring of which I am accused of trafficking in women. You can't ask me to tell you anything. I know my rights and I don't have to explain anything. I do a very respectable job. I do not accept the accusations. I find them disgusting and I want to speak before to the judiciary. Judiciary! 
All right, you'll speak towards you'll speak towards something, all right? You're going to speak towards something, and it's not going to be fun for you. Let me tell you what. Maybe you're speaking you're speaking into your brother's butthole here because you're about to see it for the rest of your life. Just like whoever threatened me, threatened me with your buttholes. I think that's really fucked up. Fake passports and IDs found in the homes of Thomas and... How do you deny this? How do you deny this? George, I've got it covered. This is the money I earned today. Okay, tomorrow a different person will come at the same time and in the same hotel. Be nice to our customer this time. He's a very rich person. No, I don't want to do prostitution anymore. What? When things are going so well? Absolutely not. Yes, Thomas is right. You can't leave it in this situation. If you leave, you will rot in prison. Death penalty, guys? Death penalty? Death penalty? Death penalty? Kill them? Human trafficking, prostitution. So what would that normally get? Mm. Human trafficking, 12 years because they're both from jail, right? So 12 each. And then prostitution, right? Where is this even found? Yeah, we could just kill them. That's fine with me. So 12 plus 20 years and $500,000, right? So it'd be 32 years each and $500,000 each. But we could just kill them. Many fake passports were seized during the operations carried out of your home. What will you say about this? give these passports as gifts to our students who are successful in the language course. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm getting arrested? <coughs> Why am I getting arrested? I must have done one wrong. I think when you do stuff wrong, you get a chance of getting arrested, chat. So I think if I do this, I do, um, this goes up. If I kill them, it goes up. Hmm. You said in your statement that you'll only speak in front of the judiciary. I'm listening to what you have to say. There's only one thing I can say, and that's that I'm innocent. I don't know what George Reese was involved in, but I'm a businessman doing business with le within legal boundaries. That's so cheap. Oh my god. Okay, so we will just kill them. And then we'll just bribe the, the cop. You know? We'll kill them and then we'll bribe the cop. You know? Easy. Simple. Simple. Straightforward. All right. Hmm. Chap. Host is playing fucking World of Warcraft.
What do I do to fix her? She wanted to live her best slutty little bar wench life. That's totally fair. She has been for a bit, like tonight you mean. All right, we got time for one more, one more case chat. One more case. Yes! Uh! Woo! Absolutely! What the fuck do you want? Never call me broke ever again. Never call me fucking broke. Ted's. Is it actually Ted's fault? I need you guys to tell me right now. Is it actually Ted's fault? Is she playing WoW with Ted? <laughs> if looks could kill I said don't you lie to me you harlot she said, bitch, I'm telling you. I said, chat is telling me a different story. She said, LMFAO, no, I used to play a lot. Not just classic. And I said, you've been coerced into hardcore WoW by a man. We need to fix her. What are we going to do? What are we going to do except for go back to court, baby? It's time! Oh, wait, what happened? Chat, what happened in the news? What happened in the news? All right, so the mafia is organizing shit. The government's freaking out. There's a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of women in here, and they're all angry. The issue of Jack Bauman's inheritance. All rise! All rise! The court is now in session. I will have no disagreements in my court. Oh, feel better, Rhea. I hope you take an ibuprofen and, and take care of your, your brain and sleep it off and stuff. There'll be no arguments or fighting in my court. All we do is... ...solve problems. Yeah, you're right, we have to bribe. <coughs> the issue of Jack Bauman's inheritance not being shared amongst family members. Defendants, Jack... Abby Bauman. Casey Bauman. Lily Bauman. Lawyer of Jack Bauman. After Jack Bauman's death, his three daughters inherited assets worth $81 million. Before his death, he informed his lawyer that he would distribute his assets in his will. While preparing his will, he died of a heart attack before completing it. Thereon, thereupon, lawyer Jaden Haywood decided to take the matter to court. 
Testament. I am Jack Bauman. I give away all my wealth to my most beautiful daughter. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. I love 2v8 mode. We're gonna play more of it in a sec. I think the blonde one's the prettiest. But I think they're all beautiful in their own way. My father always loved me as my beautiful. He definitely means me. Who do you think your father was referring to? I participated in the beauty contest. My father emphasizes this. Who do you think your father was referring to? My name means beautiful. Because my father knew that. <laughs> That's so fucked that she has to say that. Execute them all. Problem solved. Okay. All right. I'm going to jail. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to offer you a bribe. All right. Hello! The inheritance was given to Lily Bauman. The inheritance was divided equally among the three sisters. That's way better. We're doing that. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm just not doing this. I'm just not. I'm not doing that. Your daddy was... I mean, there's a lot of money to go around, man. That's millions of dollars. They're fine. Posteroni has invited you to play Dead by Daylight. All right. Chat. Them's uh, the them's the game. Them's the apples. You know. That's the game. That's the that's the apples right there. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. You're okay. What's wrong? What do you mean? What's wrong? You say you're okay. You're always amazing. You know what I mean? What's going on? Oh, I'm just ready. Marvel Rivals is ending. So. Wait, are you actually... Is that good of a game? Mm-hmm. When, when does it come back? It reminds me of... I don't even know. They haven't even said. Surely they haven't soon. even said. The thing is, is like... It reminds me of like Overwatch, how it used to be. Like back in Overwatch 1, like old school. So like, just, I love it. Just a really fun game, huh? <sighs> like by next year is what they're saying. That's so like, shit. I'm going to wait a year. I just don't know why they do that. Like, I don't almost like rather not play. Yeah, so you don't know what you're you know missing what I mean? out on, yeah. Like, I get, so like, don't... OG skins and stuff, like, I'll be able to flex next year, but it's like, what am yeah. I gonna do now? Yeah, it's still frustrating, though. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was just, it was my filler game, and now I got, I'm trying to find another filler game, and it you sucks. Got, you got DBD, you're fine. You gotta get back <sighs> to Red Rank. Yeah, I guess. What's going on? Wait! Hey! What's going what? on? What's going on? Do you stop, did you I stop like loving DBD? Game? I don't not love it. I don't not love it. It's just, oh, it just, it doesn't make me as toxic as Marvel Rivals, and it lets me get my toxicity out. Is this why you opened up WoW in a moment of desperation? Yeah, I was like, what? Else? I was like, what other games did I used to kind of have an addiction to? I was like, MMOs. MMOs are great. <sighs> it doesn't, it doesn't hit as good as it used to, you know. Does it not? Is it not feeling the same way? Uh, it's pretty fun. Hardcore is scary because like once you die, you die. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You die IRL. So like there's a lot to live for, you mm -hmm. know, in that game. But you know, you know, what are you eating? A burrito. My final mm. bites. My final moments of my burrito. <laughs> final moments. Are you executing it? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah.